you very much, moderator, in the spirit of saving time and saving the space for what I would like to share. I just want to lay all protocols observed. The Honorable Minister, the former ministers, actually, um, the uh, Governor of Central uh, Bank, the Under Secretaries, the Director Generals, all the distinguished guests with your names and places. Uh, I borrow from General Lago and say, uh, Salam Lekum Wahid 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 Wahid. I borrow from Vice President uh, Waniga and I say, Mabrukat, Mabrukat. Uh, first of all, I want to say congratulations to Dr. Uh, Bak Barnaba for uh, the trust of the president. So congratulations, very special to you. I'm here wearing two hats. First, as a member of family of the new minister, uh, we come from the same community. Sometimes they call me a community leader here in Juba which doesn't mean a lot, and it's just not paid, but it's symbolic, so I am a family member of the new minister. I may have advantage of being close to him. If something goes wrong, maybe I can whisper in his ears. So I think, uh, and, uh, but I don't give it so much. Somebody called me this morning, say, can we celebrate, uh, do something as a community? I say, celebrate what? This was not given to us as a community, you know. <laughs> and if he wants to, to, uh, uh, to invite us into his house to celebrate, I'm quite happy to come there. But if you want to celebrate as a community, give him one year. And if he achieves anything, then after that we can call him. <laughs> but I also wear another hat as a vice chancellor of the, you know, uh, a main university in the country and in the capital, the University of Juba. I think that is more important. Uh, I am a lay advisor to the government and to the people. I, like a bishop, I tell them, you are going this wrong, this way. And they can do anything they want to do with it. And if they don't, they, all the politicians will eventually pay the cost of, you know, ignoring, you know, the advice. Whether this is the the minister, or whether this is president. You know, we don't have anything to hide. We just tell them, please, you have to take care of the country very well. So, uh, as the Vice Chancellor of the University of Juba, um, I want actually to think, every time we welcome new minister, every time we welcome new undersecretary, and things don't seem to change a lot from 20, 2005. And uh, I can say, Minister of Finance is a destructive machine. You know, that role about you know, bringing people happily in and spitting them out there. Brood and uh, Okay, and nothing really changed. Of course, things change. And of course, we as a citizen, we don't get happy. So we don't say that you haven't done anything. You do something, but our expectations are even higher. And our needs are even greater. And so we acknowledge everybody who has actually taken that docket. But we have to acknowledge that we need to do better as a country. I just want to have a few thoughts. Uh, which is not the first time for me to say. I think a table, as you know, needs three or four chairs to stand. A government needs three or four legs to stand. A government, in my view, needs at least five legs to stand. If one of the legs is weak, it's wobbly. For the table, just try to remove one leg, it will be wobbly. And I think we don't have those legs. Uh, they are there, but they are not really strong. One is a strong competent civil service. 
that is underpinned by the rule of law. It means selfless servants need to be well educated, very competent, and they are well paid, well paid than anybody in the country. They carry the executive, they carry legislative, they carry judiciary. Without well paid, the strong civil service, we will not. The way they are recruited and what are their qualifications is important. If we think that this is a place where we put our relatives and then give them 13,000 pounds, $10, and we expect them that are going to negotiate 200 million US dollar contract for us, then we are kidding. So at the moment, we are not. Is the first leg, is the alpha, is the omega. In every country, Britain, Japan, China, they stand on strong civil service. My brother, this is what you need to do. You know, you need to prepare. When we sat here, you actually put up the tents so that we have a good shadow. Civil service is the strong tent that we are sitting in. You go and pay the, 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 these business people and so on, then you'll be out in no time. They are the ones that do the plans. The plans are sent to the parliament and they talk about 400%. That doesn't make any sense. It's because the civil servants didn't know do their job well. Because they are not motivated. And perhaps a good number of them are not competent. They are there by mistake. Warming chairs. <laughs> so that's a strong pillar. This is the beginning of good thing. When China put philosophers as civil servants to do accounting and auditing and laws, China has 2,000 years of stability after being a country like South Sudan, country of war. Civil servants, civil service, civil service. Take care of them. The first leg. The second leg is planning. There must be a way for us to generate good plans, prioritize. You arrive at the parliament, they tell you, you have forgotten this, we have forgotten that, we have forgotten this. We have so many roads and none of them is moving. You have to start with two roads. Some places have four lanes and other places has none. Is that a priority? You spread two lanes first of all, strong roads through the country and after that widen them. It's because of poor planning. Planning is not happening in the Ministry of Finance and Planning. We only have finance, but we don't have planning. Please, take care of planning. <laughs> planning will generate the priorities right and will good, make good plans and will actually implement them. Budget, you know, now you find that some budget is made and then the budget, they say there is ceiling and then more, some uh, government of, uh, ministry get more than others and others don't get anything. But in fact, you find the expenditure is higher than the budget that was planned. So if you plan and you spend more than you plan, the excess should be a reserve for the next year. No budget planning, of course, weak civil servants, incompetent civil service, that is the result. So planning is actually the number one that makes good planning. So take care of number one, they will take care of number two pillar. The third one is coordination, and that is actually beyond you. But you need to coordinate as a ministry to make sure that when you send money and the projects to the ministries, that you are supervising them. You are supervising the National Revenue Authority, you are supervising Nile Petroleum, you are surviving the uh, urban and water planning, you are surviving the electricity. Now, yet go get away with money. What is it that we are getting? We have 48% of that. Are we collecting? So much money going out and the Ministry of Finance doesn't care, you know, or at least, okay, they care, but I don't know how much. We don't see the result. <laughs> so planning, uh, I mean coordination here, but also coordination beyond that means the President or the Cabinet Affairs or the Prime Minister need to make sure that the, the, all the ministries are working to the same plans. Yeah, Yama. This is our country, which we develop. We have not planned. Imagine you are going to war. You don't sit down. You don't organize yourself. This has been our situation since 2005. People who want to fight war of poverty, fight war of disease, fight war of electricity, but we are not organized. We need to organize our work. Who is supposed, these ministers, to whom are they accountable? To the extent now, the ministers can actually disobey what the president say. The commander in chief has no say. They pay anybody they want, they leave anybody they don't want. And I think this is the practice, especially the Minister of Finance. They can ignore even the President. So to whom are they accountable? 
Let us change that. And so, if the president doesn't want to manage, let us have a prime minister when we have the election. A prime minister who will appoint the, 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 the ministers and take them to president to appoint. This is leg number three, coordination. Our government is not coordinated. The president is overwhelmed by all the visitors and all these people want to see him, the dignities, and the ministers are just doing as they like, and the country is going to the wolves. So please, uh, coordination is important, but in a small way, the Minister of Finance can coordinate the financial docket, can coordinate the revenue. Nile Petroleum is just something that gives, gives away. Revenue Authority collects you know, so much exemptions. Yeah? and so much uncollected tax basis. Please, you have to coordinate, you are the leader, and also the central bank. What they do, it is actually, they have to be supervised. Right? Um, number four is revenue mobilization. Of course, we have the revenue. But we need to correct one thing. We talk about oil revenue and non-oil revenue. No, the revenue is the tax. You know there is a saying, it said, the king is the treasury and treasury is the king. And it says that you cannot add rule what you cannot tax. It means, you know, if you have uh, places. And you know what happened? These top, you know, these uh, sub points that we have, it's because they are not being paid well. That's why they are collecting. Yeah? That's why the traffic policeman is stopping people carrying water and trying to charge them and so forth, because they are underpaid. Now, if you pay them well, this phenomenon will disappear. I can t tell you about that. So revenue is tax. The country South Sudan need to rest on tax, not on oil revenue. Please correct that terminology. We are talking about tax and non-tax. Non-tax is the oil, but of course the oil doesn't come to us. We don't know where it goes. Number five, education, 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 education. Now, if you ask Korea, if you ask Malaysia, South Korea, you ask Malaysia, you ask Japan, how did they get there? They invested in education. So those are five pillars that we need. Education, training, like this, the center we have is not being used, but actually it is inherited from the first government. In fact, they say Yuba uh, has actually so many buildings but you can't, how many buildings belong to the government? Very few. But you find that private buildings are more and they are beautiful. Now, um, I think five legs. At the moment, they are wobbly. Civil servants, service is not being paid well, is not competent, is not being taken care of. And uh, yeah, I'm going to finish. And then planning and so forth. Um, Yes, so um, finally, I want to say that this ministry is not something, it's not a one-man show. And I want to say that the University of Yuba is ready to put all its you know, expertise and support, like what we call technical backstopping, to the ministry. We work together as colleagues. We can tell them, here it is, this was you too, these are the scenarios, it's up to you. It's not our responsibility to pick and choose. The minister, of course, should have ability to filter out the good advice from the bad one. And nobody is responsible for that. Like when you go and choose your own wife, okay, it's for good or for bad. It is belong to you. All the advice will come to you, all the, from the, all the windows. We will try to advise if you open the doors for us. I think uh, I appreciate what the first undersecretary is saying. I also have the word yesterday, there's an economic conference coming we will be actually be able to help in terms of organizing it. Also, some of our professors will present papers and do the facilitations like other institutions like Ebony, like Sud Institute, University of Yuba also can actually provide backup. So what I want to say, find the Honorable Minister, you know, like the Central Bank has a board. You need to have a board in the Ministry of Finance, advisory board. And the advisory board, like the University of Yuba has a dean's board. You know, if I have an idea, I take it to the dean's board. Somebody is going to say, what about this, what about that, what about that? They actually advise the, the vice chancellor. And it works very fine. Now, the idea that the, only the, the, uh, the, uh, the minister can just sign checks and so on, or adopt that policy, you need a support. You need to work with the president so that you appoint economic advisory board 
within the ministry uh, which you can yourself share and then you bring people in uh, even the former colleagues you know you know the South Sudan is good in destroying skills you know like the honorable minister now you can engage them you know uh, people can hold different docket in advisory board and he can actually humble himself also you know give you what you don't know you involve academia and, and members of, and also chambers of commerce people of you know patriotism not people who want to eat so I want to uh, to end here I wish you good luck I want to say congratulations again I hope you'll do better elections is coming and uh, actually the ruling parties need to have something that they have to do you need to solve the problem of the uh, the hospital you know uh, the doctors are actually working as volunteers I was there the other day they get six, 60,000 3,000 from the Ministry of Finance and then uh, three, uh, I mean 30,000 from the Ministry of Finance from the Ministry of Health and then uh, 30,000 from collection 60,000 please how can you pay a medical doctor house office 60,000 and you expect them to work they are just working as volunteers in hospital let's fix hospital uh, service I have few ideas about that we can discuss how we can revive the health service you know this idea of people being wheeled off you know and take a and evacuated uh, to India to it need to stop we need to rehouse actually to nationalize the health service and it will start with the Ministry of Finance it is like a roundabout when the roundabout get close everything has to stop so my friend you have a very heavy responsibility God be with you thank you